All right, adventurers, welcome back. Today I've decided to do a bit of a quick guide slash short video of one of the bosses that you encountered in the early game of Entrad called the Vuka Brawler. Now, for those that don't know, the Vuka Brawler is one of the second bosses that you're likely to encounter in the game besides the uh, Matron for the Scavengers. Uh, it can actually be located here on the near the Low Metal Low Meadows Fast Travel Ancient Spire. And if you go a little southeast of that tower, you'll have the Vuka Ceremony Hill. And if you have one of the gliders or the advanced gliders, it's actually very easy to reach it down here, down below. And I'm gonna show you guys a little quick way on like how to like easily dispatch this foe. So if you like this video, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell us about your experience that you have with this boss and how you found it. Now I will say you might need to level up your flame shrine a little bit in order to get this area unlocked, but it shouldn't take very much. I think it takes you up to like about level two, level three to reach this. But before you encounter this boss, I will say there are two small enemies. As you can see, it's peeking up right over the hill there. It has two smaller enemies that we're going to have to dispatch first. Before we try to take on the boss, I believe they are healers. I've never really let them have their chance with the boss. Try to, take them, try to take them out very quickly while keeping my eye on the big boy right here. He is very likely to do this very, like, big leaping style attack to crash him down. In most cases, he will just kind of, like, come after you and try to hit you with, like, the, the side-sweeping melees. Alright, we're gonna... Oh, gosh! I did not think he was gonna come in that hot right there. That's what I mean. Like, you really gotta take your eye on him. As you can see, I'm using the blink ability in order to... Whenever he jumps up over me, I am basically blinking towards him so I go underneath him. And the best thing about this is that... If you do it pretty quickly, especially with like a wand, you're gonna get a lot of that backstabbing damage in the back here while he's trying to trying to get up. It's kind of a double-edged sword for him. He'll do a massive amount of damage at the same time. It it uh it leaves him wide open for for secondary attacks. Which if he gets too far away, sometimes if you just like the wand, it will not sometimes always hit. But if you just keep this up right here, I believe you can parry the melee attacks. However, I'm going to be honest, I'm way too scared to be able to try that. So I'm just going to kind of keep it nice and plain and simple right here. Just stick to his back. Keep spamming him with the sparks. Oh gosh, I figured out that. Oh gosh. Oh man. I'll tell you what, you don't want to be on the end of that. I'll say that right now. And like that, he is down. And... Uh, one thing I I have not really found out yet with this boss, I've tried to Google it, I've tried looking for other people's videos for an explanation, but once you defeat this boss, and you come over to him, and you claim the, uh, the Vuka Brawler head, which, ooh, the Root Staff, I'm not gonna lie, I have not received this as loot before, so I would, I'm gonna definitely check this out right here, it looks really cool, like the design on it, the coil on it, but the thing that I do not really know about this area right now, is the buff that you get from this shrine it is a 30 minute buff which if i if i turn my hud back on we can actually we can actually take a look at that real quickly it is called the if i remember correctly it's called the vukarar buff the beast runs through your veins so if anybody has any information on that please feel free to comment down below so that way everyone else can check it out and that has been my short quick guide on the Vuka Brawler. Honestly, it is one of the better looking trophy sets that you can get with the Hunter. It actually takes up a lot of space. looks really nice in your wall. It is really useful for home decoration. gives you quite a bit of a comfort boost. And But like I said, if you've liked the video, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye!